right, today we're gonna find out what can be cotton candy-fied. Can you make cotton candy out of jello? Can you make cotton candy out of ramen? Can you make cotton candy out of Diet Coke and Mentos? Stay tuned and find out. This is a cotton candy maker, also known as candy floss maker. Really easy, you turn it on, the middle starts to heat up. This is sugar. For you guys who don't know how it works, you just take sugar, this is just green sugar, and then you just put it in the middle, and then it just turns into cotton candy. Easy peasy, just like that. Oh, look at that. And then you kind of just grab your thing, and then you spin it around. It works really well because it's supposed to do that. What if you take other things, crush it up into sugar bits, and kind of see what happens? Mmm, delicious. Too bad this expired two years ago, so this would be delicious. So that's why we're gonna make our own cotton candy today. We're gonna start off with Jello. If you guys don't know what Jello is, it's just grinded up animal bones with sugar. That's how you make gelatin. Will it become cotton candy? That's a really good question. Let's find out. I need your help. Comment down below with your favorite animal if you say this will turn into Kanta candy. Or comment down below with your favorite color if you don't think this jello will turn into cotton candy. Let's put this into here. This is the cotton candy spoon. Here we go. Will jello turn into cotton candy? Let's find out. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, it, it is smoking. Oh, okay. I think it did. It was a little bit like sketchy because it there was like a lot of smoke in there. Do not try this at home, everybody. This thing is not designed to do this. All right, let's try it out. Is it delicious? Yo, this tastes like straight up just jello in like a cotton candy form. That is weird, yeah? Yo, nice. So far, so good. Let's keep experimenting and hopefully we can not get... I don't know about this one. Okay, so next up we have some ramen noodles. So first things first, we have to grind it up and uh, make it as small little bits as possible. Fortunate for us, ramen noodles are really easy to crush up. Let's go do this. So we're just gonna grind it in little pieces. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna put this right here. So, comment down below with your country flag. If you say yes, here we go. Will ramen noodles make cotton candy? Three, two, one. Maybe it has to heat up just a little bit because it was off for a second. All right, so I don't think the ramen noodles are doing much. So, the answer is no. Ramen noodles do not make cotton candy. I think mainly because the fact that it needs sugar. Sugar is the main factor to make cotton candy. So without sugar, it doesn't work. Myth busted. So we have grinded up Mentos here. We grind it up just a little bit. We'll see if it works. Here we go, Mentos. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa! It worked? No, that's kind of cool. It tastes like Mentos, like straight up. All right, my question, will it still work if you bunch the cotton candy together, just like this, and then put it on the Diet Coke? My answer is yes, but let's find out. This is just crushed up cotton candy Mentos in here, so let's try it out. Three, two, one, go. Okay, it's not as powerful. Maybe we gotta make more of it. Hold on, let's try out the grinded ones first. Okay, the grinded one still makes... A Tootsie Roll Pop. This one's a little bit tricky because it does contain chocolate in the inside. And if you melt chocolate, it turns into fudge. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit of sugar, a little bit of fudge, but we did, uh, we grinded it up as much as we can. It kind of looks like that. I'm gonna be expecting a little bit of like smoke coming out here, but uh, we'll find out. Here we go. Dropping, three, two, one, go. Oh! Yes! Whoa! The key ingredient is sugar, as long as there is sugar, and if you grind it up as much as you can, it will turn into cotton candy. That is pretty cool. Bonk. Oh, there's a like chocolate and strawberry at the same time. That is remarkably impressive. Look at that. It's not the best looking cotton candy, but it is cotton candy, and it does turn into cotton candy. So, we tested candies that are grinded up. So I have here some Smarties, okay, some giant Smarties. What if you just put a Smartie in the middle? Do you think that'll turn into cotton candy? Let's see if it does work. Three, two, one, go. Okay, it's making a weird noise. I think right now it's just spinning as fast as possible. 
Is it doing anything? Is it melting? What is it doing? Oh, it's melting. All right, let's just keep spinning it and hopefully something happens. Safety goggles on. Come on, Candy. Hello? Well, that comes to the conclusion. No! It has to be grinded up in order for it to work. It doesn't grind it up for you. It makes sense. That's pretty much um, expected. Yes, let's do this. Let's get some Smarties here. Put it right over here. Let's just start grinding. Okay, so this is how it works to grind things into fine pieces. Now, our question is, will it work this time? Here we go. Three, two, one. Huh. I don't think it works. Wait, does that mean Smarties is not sugar? Wait, let me read the ingredients here. There are no ingredients. I was expecting cotton candy to come out of there. Now it is just turning it into smoke, just like that. You see it? Oh my gosh. Next up, will Pop Rocks turn into cotton candy? Probably. But hey, listen to this. Listen, come here, come here. Closer, closer. <laughs> Okay, cool. My question is, will it make the same sound if it's in cotton candy form? Let's find out, shall we? All right, put some here, grab some more. All right, will Pop Rocks turn into cotton candy? It does! Oh my gosh! Ooh, this is good. Oh, looks good. Will this recorder still work? Yes, it's a cotton candy recorder. Question is, will it still pop in my mouth? Okay, come close, come close. Here we go, let's try it out. Nope. So, when it turns to cotton candy, it dies, loses all sense of consciousness and attributes. My question is, will Kool-Aid turn into cotton candy? Let's find out. All right, Mr. Kool-Aid man. Okay, here we go. Will Kool-Aid turn into cotton candy? Oh yeah, Kool-Aid does turn into cotton candy. Wow, ooh, this is a good color too, look at that. Whoa! So if you want a good substitute, if you have a cotton candy maker in your house for some whatever apparent reason, and you have Kool-Aid, you can make some Kool-Aid cotton candy, just like this. Oh, this is a good looking cotton candy floss thing. Wow, this is turning real, real, real good. Does it taste like Kool-Aid? Probably, Let's try it out. Yes, tastes like fruit punch Kool-Aid. Oh gosh, phenomenal. All right, next up, which one should I do next? Comment down below. All right, too bad. I'm doing Jolly Rancher next, okay? You look in the back, it says keep on sucking. So we gotta do that and grind it up. If you're wondering why I have an ice cream cone, you'll figure it out. Just watch me grind up these Jolly Ranchers real fast. Comment down below, what is your favorite candy as well? My favorite candy, I like sour gummy worms. If you're talking about chocolate, I like Kit Kat. What's yours? All right, let's grind up this Jolly Rancher. Kind of looks like this. It's really pretty, to be honest. Will Jolly Ranchers become cotton candy? Let's find out. Oh, it's a little bit sticky here, so I don't know if it will actually. But we will never know until we try. Here we go. Oh, yes, it is. It is. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. It looks like a bun cake. Wow. That is like a little cool. So if you're wondering why I have an ice cream cone, we're gonna make ice cream cotton candy. Just like that, see? Question is, does it taste like a Jolly Rancher? Let's try it. Oh, it's so surprising. Cause it tastes like watermelon, tastes a little bit of like sour apple, and a little bit of ice cream cone, which is kind of cool. For our next route, we're gonna make some Skittles. Do you think Skittles will turn into cotton candy? Let me know in the comments down below. Here we go, Skittles. Skittles are a little bit hard to grind, so uh, I have another solution. A blender. Okay, Skittles cotton candy. Is it gonna work? Probably. This calls time for the recorder. Okay, cool. Safety goggles on. Skittles cotton candy. Three, two, one. Oh. There it is. 
There's the Skittles. Stop! This is so good. Stop! Ooh. Oh, this smells so good too. It's like all like fruity pebble smelly. Oh, it is. Oh, Skittles work really. Oh. This is working extremely well. Like the amount of, I guess, cotton candy floss that is emitting from the center is, that's a lot. It is going. Okay, calm down, Skittles. You can stop now, I mean. Oh my gosh. Does the recorder still work? Oh, you know it's a good cotton candy when no air is getting out. Oh, no, just kidding. All right, Skittles cotton candy. Three, two, let's get it Oh man. This is good. Probably the best one out of like all the others that I did. You know what that means? We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna move on to some nerds. Do you think nerds will become cotton candy? Let's grind it up. Here we go. Nerds. All right, this is gonna be a good one. Will nerds become cotton candy? Let's find out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this one's a little bit scattered. I don't even know, oh, oh, look at it. I'm just gonna let it form by itself and see what happens. Obviously, it is working, but it's not as consistent as like Skittles. I'm sure if you kind of like roll it like a regular cotton candy, it'll look good. See, so it starts to look good. As long as you kind of like guide it the right way, it'll make the right shape. So this is the nerds cotton candy. This is good, I am impressed. Comment down below, if we do this video again, what candy would you want me to put inside this cotton candy maker? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, cool, thank you. Mwah. Here we go, nerds, cotton candy. It's good. What? The Skittles one? Unbelievable, yo. All right, thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to make cotton candy next. Until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Stay juicy.